All right, YouTube, what is up? So today I have a ton to talk about. I don't know if this is gonna be like a Q&A portion or if I'm gonna put some um, talk over the GoPro footage from yesterday's ride. I might do that later on, but some stuff I have to talk about. Finally, got the pit bike fixed. Um, had some complications along the way to uh, get this pipe all re-welded up, as you can see. Let me move this out of the way. So, it's all re-welded if uh, my camera would focus on there. Should be stronger than what it was um, stock. It shouldn't fall off. The flex is just in the actual pipe itself. But uh, yeah, got that done. But uh, little Ryan got hurt because I'll play the clip in a minute. So he got everything, got filmed those clips for me, which I'm about to play. I'll play all the clips that he recorded. He vlogged a little bit for me um, because I couldn't go when he was getting it welded. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll just play the clips right now. And then I'll talk about it after you guys watch it. Finally going back on. More on YouTube too. You well then? It's a rubber bush. Rear fender's gotta come off. Here he's gotta get to the back side or else it's gonna, it's gonna fall off. So yeah, as you guys just saw, Ryan wants to go ride the uh, the pitter up on the ramp. His truck's like super steep. It's like lifted, I don't know, eight inches or something like that. And I uh, went to go ride it up on like the slick uh, blacktop driveway. And it was probably wet because it's been raining for the past like six days. Ramp slipped up, almost closed. I think it closed the tailgate. And then he, uh, the ramp like jabbed him in the neck. And uh, in the side of the face, there was like metal in his neck, stuck in his neck. He uh, had to go to the hospital, get that taken out, and then I think he had like five or six stitches um, in his jaw. Um, it wasn't too big, but it was just deep um, in his face where he needed stitches, but uh, shout out to Ryan. Go show Ryan some love on his Instagram. It's on the screen right here. Give him a follow for uh, helping me out and bringing that to uh, get rewelded and uh, taking one for the team. But uh, yeah, there's, there's that deal. I'm pretty sure he told me he was uh, gonna throw that ramp out and get a new one, but uh, that's the, the update on the pit bike. That thing's all good to go. I haven't entered to win the OG pit bike. Uh, limited days left. It ends November 15th. If you have not entered to win this thing, every $5 equals one entry to win it. If you order anything on my website, any stickers, it gets you uh, an entry to uh, win this thing. All the links are down below in my description to uh, order stickers. Along with the uh, the new clapped key tags, this doesn't give you an entry to win the pit bike. A key tag for your keys, this thing's sick. Also link down below. And then moving on to uh, e-bike stuff that just got released today as you're watching this video. I just saw it on Instagram. A bunch of pages posted it. I posted it on my Instagram um, regarding some different, your thoughts on it. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, give me a follow, at Tyler Monaghan, it should be on the screen. But uh, KTM and Husqvarna just announced a uh, KX50, KX, a KTM 50 and a Husqvarna 50 or 65 size um, e-bike, uh, e-pitters. I think that's the new the new move. I don't know about uh, if they're worth $10,000, but if some company when they come out wants to uh, give me one to use or something, I mean, I'm not gonna say I won't make videos on it, but yeah, so e-bike stuff, I'll talk about that more later on in the video. If this is the first video you're watching, definitely hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more e-bike content, pit bike content, big bike content. We gotta clean up from uh, the hair scramble uh, on Sunday. Probably get to that today since it's super nice out. Jump into the uh, the Q&A, or uh, we'll jump into the, uh, the all the GoPro footage. A lot of you requested to see more of that. All right, so I guess I'll just start off jumping right into it, talking about this uh, electric pit bike. It's not an electric pit bike. It's an electric kid's dirt bike, but it's kind of the same thing as what a Kalex 110 or any little pit bike is so basically um we got two options right now the 2020 ktm se5 or the sx e5 or the the husky version which is basically the same thing um just whatever you if you like ktm you're going to get the ktm one if you like husky you're obviously going to get the husky so i personally think the husky looks a little bit cooler maybe that's just me being biased because my alto's white and the husky's white but regardless um i think the husky looks cooler um, but I guess I'll jump right into some specs and kind of running over the bike because I'm sure a lot of you are curious as I was myself and, uh, I did a little research finding out all this stuff. So basically I heard it was $10,000. Uh, I think I was mistaken I think they're going for 5500 and then I believe it comes with the charger But I'm assuming the $500 charger would be the fast charger which they also um, Offer to charge it in like half the time same thing Alta did they have the fast charger and then the normal charger um, basically runtime they're saying for a beginner nav, um, just cruising around, should get about over two hours of runtime, which isn't bad, kind of 
same deals with the alt is fast mini kid ripping on it really hard about 35 minutes so you'll get like a moto and some if they're racing it hard and then you would throw it into the fast charger before you go out for your next moto and that thing would be ready to go as long as you bring a generator to the track i know i've seen like oh what do you do when it dies at the track like obviously you'd be prepared and you'd have a generator you can go to harbor freight and get a pretty budget generator for like i don't know 100 bucks 150 bucks and uh, i don't think you're going to complain about 150 to 200 bucks if you're already buying a brand new bike so it's kind of irrelevant for the people that say that they don't they're obviously not really thinking the big picture here but anyways um they're saying for, uh, from dead it can be fully charged in an hour that's fully drained that's not with the fast charger that's with the normal charger i'm assuming um so an hour honestly isn't too bad so if the fast charger can say you can charge it up to 80 percent in that 25 minutes and go race that's more than enough time you'll have plenty of time between motos or if you're racing motos back to back i mean maybe maybe you'd have to buy two i know all these moto little parents they have more than one bike at the track so they'd obviously be buying more than one of these e-bikes if it was going to be their primary race bike so they'd have one um to race and then come back throw it on the charger and then have that other one to go race and then they'd swap them out so that's just my thinking on if you're a, a moto parent wanting to go full electric um basically my point of view is kids can ride it more at home if you don't have a lot of property and the neighbors get pissed um you can just set him out go ride he can get more comfortable on the bike with his braking and just balance and riding in general and honestly more time on the bike anytime you're riding it just makes you better and uh just more ride time it really comes down to um the kids wouldn't have to worry about focusing on the clutch or shifting or anything like that i know the cobra 50s already don't have a clutch um but this just really helps them focus like no vibration not as much vibration really just focus on their balance their riding their positioning their braking and really to learn the fundamentals um, of riding before they say jump on a bigger e-bike or say they jump on a on a bigger gas bike just to kind of get them into the sport get them get them going right now i'll run over some of the specs there's really not that many specs out there um really on these bikes yet but basically um it's got a five kilowatt performance output whatever um six different ride modes 907 watt hour lipo battery i want to compare that to the alta one i don't know how many watt hour um the battery on the alta is i'll have to look into that and then obviously um, quick charging, which I'm assuming that's what they're talking about, upgrading to the $500 charger that you can buy separately. I'm um, assuming a lot of the guys would do that at that point um, if you're already buying the bike. And obviously, it comes with the good WP suspension that's on every KTM and Husky bike now. So I think it's going to um, compete whatever in the 50, 65 CC class for the kids. I don't know, depending on age and how big um, your kid is or how big you are if you're watching this video. Um, me personally, I think it'd be for me and my friends if we can all have a e-pit bike and go mob around if they can last us two hours to go cruise around the town and tear some stuff up i don't know like if it had enough power to where they had about the same amount of power as my 110 but had more torque i'd be fine with it if i can get an hour and a half out of it just to cruise around and then come back home and have zero maintenance and nobody even know you're riding so um it's definitely the future no matter people hate on it or not and if i was a parent i'd pro i don't know if i'd invest in one of these right away maybe wait a year or so but uh if that means your kid can ride more have more fun enjoy the sport more ride at your house and i have to take him to the track all the time you can build him a little mini track in the backyard honestly like it's worth the 5500 in my eyes personally but i mean some people will say otherwise it doesn't mean you're getting rid of your gas bikes it just gets him riding more gets him more comfortable on the bike like I said, learning the fundamentals, learning the braking, learning jumping better, everything in your backyard without pissing your neighbors off or anything like that, getting you mad if you don't want to listen to it, per se. But, yeah, honestly, it's just getting more people in the sport, I think, letting people ride more. And, uh, I mean, if you hate on it, you're just not educated. And uh, if you're a hardcore two-stroke, four-stroke, whatever fan, um, it's the future. It's coming. I'm not just being biased because I bought an Alta. It's just really what's going to happen. And now seeing Harley Davidson announcing they also just released a uh, electric Harley after just bailing out of the Alta contract, or whatever. I'm being their investor in Alta. Um, I'm not surprised they did that. Yeah, that's probably why they bailed out because they already had this planned, obviously. So I don't know how the Harley thing is going to actually play out because I know all those Harley guys are pretty hardcore, if you know what I mean. So they're probably not going to 
except the uh, the, the E Harley butt and give all the E Harley guys crap, kind of like how the moto is, but. It is what it is. I didn't realize how much time uh, talking about the E pit bikes would be, but another video coming soon, probably this week, I'll have that Q&A over some like Alta GoPro All right, so that's going to cap this video off here. If you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I'm trying to uh, almost daily upload this month. Um, I might miss a few days here and there, but I'm trying to uh, upload a ton of videos um, while the weather's nice and uh, I'm not stuck inside. So stay on the lookout pretty much every day for a new upload. Post a comment down below what else you wanna see. Save yourself in the comments about my mustache. It's no shave November. I'm trying to grow it out. It looks bad, I know. Uh, it's just one of those things I gotta push through. It'll probably be gone in like a week, but for all the people that commented, just lay off a little bit, all right? Lay off, it hurts my feelings. <laughs>